Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings and Chippy. <laughs> We're coming in to do your reading today and Sparky's down here too. Give them their cookie and let them take a nap. Let's dive into your reading, Sag. So I want to just know what Sagittarius is um, needing and wanting to know today, okay? Just anything Sag needs or wants to know. So I'm going to pull these by feel for you. I'm starting with traditional tarot today. Sometimes I go to light worker cards with you guys, but um, this is what I was hearing from Spirit was to start with these and we'll see what happens. Okay. So Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy. Thank you guys for being here. Sagittarius, what do you need or want to know? Hi, Chippy. You have something to say to Sag? You do. What? You know, I'm Sagittarius too, so Chippy's pretty much in tune with the sign of Sagittarius, aren't you, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, and what you don't see coming, oh, is Ace of Swords. Look at this, this is what you don't see coming. All right, so let's turn these over. <clears throat> hey guys, um, this is a little excerpt <laughs> here in your reading because my uh, recorder cut out. That's, it's interesting, the noise, as you keep watching this, you'll see the next segment, I had to turn it off because there was a lot of noise that was distracting me. Now I know that noise was spirit trying to say, check your phone, check your phone, it's cut out. So I lost some portion, a little portion of uh, the beginning of that reading, which I'm gonna show you now, <laughs> redo it for you after the fact. So I hope this is making sense, it's so confusing. What's most significant is you are the Queen of Pentacles, at this time and this is what Sag needs or wants to know. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who really guards her resources, who's very earthy, who likes what she does for money, who has money, feels very grounded, focused on money, resources, and that sort of thing. Okay, beautiful card for you Sag. What is showing as a challenge at this time is the world reversed. So there's something here, loose ends, that need to be tied up. There's something that needs a resolution, okay? And I go a lot into that later in the reading, all right? In your energy at this time, you might be feeling overwhelmed by um, the Two of Pentacles. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed by owing money or um, feeling juggled, or maybe you're feeling overwhelmed because you were juggled. Uh, by a person, that sort of thing. And again, I'll go more into this with clarification. And what is moving into your past is you learned something new. This is the um, Page of Pentacles, and this is having to do with you, uh, maybe you took a class um, that brought you to a situation of new opportunities, okay? This is where the video cut out was just in that first part. So now we're gonna continue. Sorry for all the distractions in your reading. Okay, Sag, sorry, I had to check on that noise. It turns out it's just the rain, but anyway. <laughs> so, Page of Cups is where we were. I feel like for some of you in the uh, more extended future, or even going out through the summer, um, your life may revolve around children. It may be grandchildren, it may be your own children. It could be someone you meet, their children, okay? Sometimes this can be a younger person, or this can also be, for some of you, um, a romantic partner that's coming in, okay? Like a friendship that then starts to become an attraction and becomes romantic. And I say that because your final outcome is the lover's card, okay? Now for some of you, this is a choice and we're gonna clarify, but some of you are looking for love. And I know Sagittarius in particular is like, nope, <laughs> no I'm not, <laughs> okay? I've heard you guys, I read your comments, you know. Um, but for some of you, you are going to be meeting um, someone who is going to become either a really good friend or a ro romantic interest. So I feel like this is going to be someone, even if it doesn't go full on romantic, it could be someone who's attracted to you or you're attracted to them or mutual attraction, that kind of thing. We'll, we'll look into it and see, okay? 
Now, other people are seeing you as having gone through a rebirth and a transformation. I can't wait to clarify this, Sag. This is really, um, I'm sorry about this fan, but it is just so hot here right now. The fan keeps blowing the hair in my face and it's, it is distracting me a tiny bit, sorry. But so with the heat, so I'm kind of going between, do I want to deal with heat or do I want to deal with the fan? So I'm picking the fan for right now. So Sag, rebirth. This is definitely having to do with you having gone through rising from the ashes. I feel like you went through a death of some sort. You might have gone through a dark night of the soul. Other people are seeing you. They're like, wow, Sagittarius is really coming back to life. Sag is like different now than they were five years ago or six months ago or 10 years ago. You know, I, I feel like for a lot of you, there's been a really long progress of this rebirth that has gone on really for years for many of you. So here it is, death card. Um, some of you may have Scorpio in your chart. So I, I think some of this is a Scorpio energy may be coming out in you. Um, I think for some of you, you may have Scorpio in the love part of your chart. And I'm not an astrologer, so I'm definitely not an expert on charts and those kinds of things. But I understand from my mediumship and psychic abilities when I see things happening in people's charts, okay? Because I, I look at that kind of stuff from a different angle, you know, I actually read the charts. But I'm feeling like this is bringing up this kind of Scorpio feeling of passion and intensity in some of you at this time in the arena of love, if that makes sense, okay? Some of you astrologers will be able to probably explain why that is planetarily, <laughs> okay? I'm just explaining it from a feeling of empath, reading the cards, and just what I'm getting on this, okay? Now, this is um, interesting. I think some of you are afraid you're gonna either miss out on love or passion or something you really want because of this ace of wands being reversed and this is in the hopes and fears it's like you're hoping for this new beginning you want this big passionate beginning but your fear is you're going to miss out on it or it's going to be delayed or it's not going to show up at all that's only a fear okay so we'll clarify and again your final outcome is the lover's card now take it as it resonates for some of you it's just a choice it's making a choice a big major choice for some of you it's the obvious it's lovers you're going to be coming into a relationship and what you don't see coming is this ace of swords and ace of swords has to do with new beginnings but it's it comes out of some adversity and i would say it did because in your energy of the death card so i feel like your new beginning out of this adversity was letting something die you know and literally something could have died um or it could have been some part of you or it could have been um, a relationship that quote died um, it could have been a situation or a job. It could have been a lot of different things that made you have to reinvent yourself, go through this rebirth. So out of some kind of adversity that caused that, that dark night of the soul for a lot of you, um, you're now getting your cloud with the silver lining, okay? You know that expression, the cloud with the silver lining. It has to do with um, things that looked really bad at first are now turning around and getting a lot better. Okay, let's go over here and let's start clarifying. Let's see what else we get, Satch. And it's Queen of Pentacles for you at this time. And let's see why is Queen of Pentacles significant for Sagittarius? Why do you need or want to know that? We've got the Empress. And the Empress did come out flipped for some of you. So I feel like the Empress changed course. The Empress was like, what I was doing, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to go this way. And now I'm going to have success over here. So, um, yeah, you've changed business. I feel like for some of you, your business that you started wasn't going well, or your job wasn't going well, you started a new business. Something about changing course, which has caused you to be in this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. What else? Why? Oh, and it's because you're being more creative, too. That's what else. With this Eight of Pentacles energy, some of you really diving into your creativity. I, I feel like for some of you, some business you started or job you started just wasn't creative enough. You know, and Sagittarius wants to really be very, you know, you're very creative people by nature. And it's like, you really wanted to dive into 
your creativity and see what you could really make happen. And I feel like some of you felt stymied by whatever that was and you're changing course, you're doing things different and it is bringing you more money. The Wheel of Fortune, okay? Wheel of Fortune is the obvious, the Wheel of Fortune. More fortune coming, you know, the Wheel of Fortune meaning more fortune is coming into your life and a change of luck for the better and that sort of thing. Let's clarify the world card. Why is the world, which is resolutions, like you want things to come together, be tied up. You want something resolved. Why is that creating a challenge at this time, Sag? Hmm, because there's been some kind of competition. There's something here about maybe arguments or battles or somebody competing with you and it put you in an oppressive situation. Some of you feel like you're in this nightmare situation or you were and you were dealing with some kind of a, um, how do I say it? A third part, I feel like, I mean, this is Queen of Cups, but she's reversed and I get really strongly the Queen of Cups was competing with you. So what I'm saying is this person was trying to take over your life. This person was all the bad side of Queen of Cups, you know, like using her intuition to prey on your weaknesses, I want to say. Like she was um, trying to take over your life, take over your partner. Uh, she was being very deceptive and very charming on the outside. Everybody just loves her. <laughs> very narcissistic energy and um, could have been alcoholic or in substance abuse of some sort or doing a whole lot of virtue signaling like oh I'm this great person but really underneath it was none of that it was all for show this is who was competing with you Sag could have been a water sign but not always you know um, not always and a knight of wands I feel like for some of you, because of that situation that wasn't resolved yet, you had to move. And maybe you're still thinking about moving. There's the Knight of Wands. It made things a lot up in the air for you. And here's the Sun card. So this turned out to be a good thing. This is what you need to resolve. So I feel like you're still trying to resolve what happened with that Queen of Cups whoever that was. She could have been a mother for some of you. She could have been the other woman for some of you. Older woman. I do get an older woman. And there's something there that needs to be resolved. What needs to be resolved exactly? Because that's what the only thing that's holding you back right now, Sag, is there's something there that loose ends need to be tied up around this either mother figure or something. Ooh, and a queen of swords. So that Queen of Cups also had this side to her that was very unemotional. And the Queen of Cups side may have been overly emotional. I feel like this person may have had mood swings from overly emotional to not at all emotional and would go very mental, like all up in her thoughts a lot. There's something you're trying to resolve with um, a female figure. Yeah, three, it was a third party situation for a lot of you. And it could have been two different women for some of you. Yeah. And here's your upside down King of Swords. So whoever this was, Sag, take it as it resonates and flip the roles if you need to. Okay. Because I'm definitely getting there was a third party situation. There were a couple of upside down queens who were all over the place emotionally and dishonest and maybe there was um, lying and substance abuse. I'm sure there was lying. There was a lot of deception going on here. Whoever this is though, the party is over now. I feel like they were out there partying, now the party's over. And it revolved around a man who was very manipulative, lying a lot. This is upside down, king of swords. He's sort of um, all, all like, um, trying to keep this really G-rated. He was really physical, if you catch my drift, and not at all emotional, okay? There was a lot of lust, let's put it that way. There was a lot of lust there around King of Swords, and a lot of deceit, and there were two, 
they're actually what I'm picking up right now for someone there were two people there was a queen of cups there was also a queen of swords so one of them was very smart and he was attracted in that way because there was a match with that swords energy even though he's upside down there was also this um, drugged out sort of weird queen of cups really weird energy and that's what blew things up for you this is what has caused a lot of you to have this rebirth okay that you went through that dark night of the soul and that's what hasn't been resolved yet i feel like you know i asked the question what does sagittarius need to know or what do they want to know and the world reversed came up in the position wow my nose is itching i'm so sorry i'm so like everywhere on this reading um what you need to resolve is that is that situation with that third party situation so it was either guy with two women or two women throwing you under the bus or the guy throwing you under the bus or all three so they could have been lovers they could have been co-workers for that matter um could have been family members for some of you for some of you that was a mother and um, two swords family members so it, take it as it resonates because again it's going to be a little different for everybody let's keep going i'll get you more as we go along this got involved fast Sag, okay so why are you feeling this overwhelmed and juggling with the um with this two of pentacles and nine of wands reversed both reversed there was a page of cups there's page of cups again page of cups reversed is often a younger person often a narcissist somebody very immature and frivolous and that kind of thing caused you to go through a lot of healing and moving here we go again some of you were forced to move some of you wanted to move some of you still want to move away from this this is some kind of a change that you had to make and a lot of pulling back healing and that sort of thing and again this is what it looks like hasn't been quite resolved yet that younger person was a real problem it was a real real problem caused you to lose money to juggle money let's ask about this juggling money part Sagittarius what do you need to know about juggling the money yeah because you're still healing some of you went through um, some kind of illness um, because you know like stress illness because of this and I feel like you know there are medical bills and things like that that some of you dealt with or if you were dealing with the mother um, the mother I picked up earlier there could have been something about medical bills or end-of-life experience um, expenses and things like that here's three of cups again yeah somebody was out there just throwing a big party at your expense and it caused you to have this juggling of money this two of pentacles came up reversed like it's still in your energy i feel like you're still recuperating from money that was inadvertently or you know blatantly taken from you in some way and again it's going to everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different also you were juggled you know there's a, there's a whole juggling theme going on here sag Let's look at Page of Pentacles going into your past. What do you need to know about that? There's something you learned going into the past Page of Pentacles, okay? Clarifying Page of Pentacles. It hurt your money for a while, obviously. Um, you're still recuperating from that. Ten of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you, one of the things you learned that you already know and this is just going to confirm it for some of you is that this person was taking from you that king of swords it's almost like they were um they were taking money in inadvertently indirectly they were stealing money from you like in ways uh, the only example that comes to mind is i can't pay my car payment this month you know honey could you please pay it for me this one time and you did but the money that would have gone to the car payment they went and spent it on Queen of Cups out doing their partying 
so it was stolen from you they never paid it back you know they were like I'll pay you back next month and it never happened that's just an example but that may have happened for some of you and that's what you learned about and you learned about somebody who was being very sneaky <laughs> Um, somebody who was full of pride, somebody who was trying to make themselves look rich. So they were using, you know, hard-earned money to just look frivolous and take somebody out to expensive dinners or buy expensive gifts and that kind of thing. And I feel like they were doing it in an effort to win someone who did have money. So, so they wanted to look like they had money so they could, um, you know, manipulate this new person the same way they've manipulated you <laughs> all that time they were gonna do the whole thing you know you were catching on to it so they went to the new person if that makes sense so they were trying to make themselves look like this really proud peacock that you can see on this card it's like see I have money I have money to blow we can just go out and have this really nice dinner because I make so much money but really they were just taking it from you and your budget because the two of you were together if that makes sense was complicated I hope you followed me yeah because there was new attraction what you learned about um, after the fact is there was some kind of a new attraction that was going on so let's move forward I'm sorry that keeps coming up and I know you're probably tired of hearing from about the person or from the person um, from the past but it is still showing up like it's still unresolved for some reason why is it unresolved let me ask why is this still unresolved for Sag? Because for some of you, it's been like years. You know, I, they're telling me that. 10 years? 15 years? I mean, for some of you, it's been a really long time. Why is it still unresolved? <laughs> because this person's just like such bad news. I feel like they keep trying to come up again. We've got Page of Wands reversed. I feel like for some of you, this person maybe sending you a message or maybe you got a message maybe you got a text or maybe you saw a psychic message come up from this person somewhere it's like they're trying to get your attention and the younger person too there's page of cups page of wands the high priestess reversed some of this is because you there's still secrets that are coming up Sag that you need to know about this you're going to find out some stuff that's going to blow your mind Page of Swords, and these people, your partner and whoever the new person is, they got involved with are spying on you. And they, they're they trying to um, show you how great they are. <laughs> they're trying to convince themselves by convincing you of, oh, look how happy we are. So there's something about messages. You could have gotten, you could have had a dream about them. You could have seen some sign when you're out around town maybe you saw their name on a license plate on a random car in front of you something like that and it's because they're thinking about you they're projecting their energy but here's the thing ace of pentacles reverse they're pretending they got this big windfall of money they did not i'll just tell you they did not um they're pretending they did they thought they were <laughs> they may have thought they were going to get that from you but when i'm asking what needs to be what's needs to be resolved they're still or the person probably that queen of cups is still competing with you Sag still to this day and this is why it hasn't been resolved because even though you're not participating in this and you're like I don't care <laughs> a lot of you are like I don't care okay um, and I get that but this person is still competing with you and sending you a whole bunch of bad energy so you need to know this so that you can shield yourself because in some way some of you are inadvertently and indirectly still wrapped up in their karma because they're still competing with you you know it's not to a large degree but it is to some degree so it's not resolved because how do I explain it because people are gonna be like oh they're not affecting me and that's good if they're not but a lot of you they still are you know they may be working spells on you they may just be um, focusing some really dark entities towards you you know if you've had any bad dreams or felt creepy or uh, cold spots in your house or any kind of thing you know those kind of things are psychic attacks and I just get a really strong sense that's what's not resolved it's like that karmic cycle they won't let it go it's not that you have you have <laughs> you have let it go most of you 
And I feel like they keep pulling you back into it. And this is why you may find yourself thinking about them. You're like, why, why are they in my head again? You know, you wake up in the morning, it's like, them again? Why are they in my head? Because they're thinking about you. It's not the other way around. You've let go of it. They have not. They're still competing with you because of the way this got started. Okay? I didn't know I was going down this path. I'm just asking, what does Sagittarius need to know? Yeah. Oh, man. They're sending you five swords energy. That's what hasn't been resolved yet. This is what you need to know. So this is what they're saying. All right, let's go forward. Let's ask about, um, let's get off that topic. It's, it, see what's happening here? They even want to take over your reading. Seriously. I ask, what does Sag need to know? And they come up. They come up in your reading. Let's clear them out. <laughs> Oh boy, you know, they could be sending you some kind of blockages and that sort of thing. Um, it is a cloud with a silver lining, don't forget. Out of adversity, something really good comes out of it. And that was the adversity. And this is what you don't see coming yet, is the cloud with the silver lining. So let's ask about your new opportunities based on what you've learned or any classes that you took. New opportunities. Wow, some of you are getting a Ten of Cups. Some of you are getting into a new marriage. I, I know, I took a relief there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that can be the marriage card, happy relationship. Some of you are getting into a really, truly happy relationship. Hmm. Maybe with a Virgo. Some of you with a Virgo, Hermit Energy, Four of Wands. Wow, Sag, here's what you really need to know. So they're saying keep going. Hold on, let me get the rest. <laughs> wow. Page of Wands. All right, so here's the thing. Two new opportunities in your immediate future. Something that brings you into marriage. Some of you are getting married. Um, some of you are just being really happy um, in your home. This can be a really happy home, happy family. Some of you are by yourselves and you're super happy. Here's the Hermit card. Some of you saw through all of that toxic energy and I know you did. I know you did for sure because Sag is very, very intuitive. Um, this is you being all the wiser, okay? This could also be you connecting and maybe marrying a Virgo, okay? Look at this Sag. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Here's the Four of Wands. These are two marriage cards with the hermit in between. So for some of you, you're getting involved with a Virgo, maybe marrying a Virgo, moving in, buying a house, that sort of thing. Um, for some of you, you're just happy as you can be being alone, being the hermit. And you're happy with your family, you're happy in your home, maybe you've bought a home, maybe you're going on an amazing vacation, that sort of thing, and you're doing it all on your own, okay? There's the card of keep persevering. Here's the seven of wands. You know, keep pushing ahead. Don't give up. You have the advantage. Now thrown in here, there's a little bit of this page of wands reversed, which is, which can be some kind of a message of bad news or feeling like somebody has dismissed you in some way, thrown into the mix of all the happiness. So I don't know where that's coming from, but let's ask and see. Okay. has to do with a job. For a lot of you, it's job and business. Um, maybe you started out liking it and then you didn't. And that's what I said earlier, like changing course. And maybe it has to do with children. Make you, maybe you're making decisions about business based on children for some of you. Let's go to this next one, Page of Cups. Let's clarify. This is coming up in your more extended future, Sag. Let's see. I know this reading is getting long. I haven't read for you guys for I don't know, about 10 days, so they had a lot to say. <laughs> All right, so hang in there with me. Cards are flipping out. Oh, wow. Yeah, I knew it. Remember I said Page of Cups could be, for some of you, a new romantic partner. Here is, to clarify that, Knight of Cups. That's the love offer card, okay? So I feel like you're meeting, some of you, a new friend. It's, it's going to become 
romantic and this could be somebody who is a father who has children um I feel like their children in consideration some in some way with this let's see what else <laughs> now if you're not interested in love this could be some other sort of offer that you will love <laughs> all right but usually it's a romantic love offer it can be anything from hey do you want to go have coffee to hey do you want to get married all right it's that kind of thing three of swords yeah the heartache is over this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna finish healing your broken heart Sag. all of the things that weren't resolved I feel like this new person coming in oh wow is gonna help resolve a lot of things and make it less easy for the previous person bimbo I want to call them the previous bimbo keep sending you bad energy for some of you not everybody but for some of you it's going to make it almost impossible for that person to get those thoughts projected at you oh my Sag look at this this is so good okay so I'm asking a little bit more clarification on page of cups which is the new friend new love offer and all of that We've got the reversed three of swords. So your heart is healing, okay? Because of this new relationship coming up, it will completely heal. And you might, it might bring up some pain. It might bring up some things when you meet this person, you know, some unresolved things because there are unresolved things with this world reverse card that showed up as your challenge. So, but there's more healing that takes place. And then look at this. There's two people coming together this is the love and relationship card most of the time things coming together and it's going to bring you a big change of luck look at this wheel of fortune this is beautiful Sag this is amazing <laughs> really amazing I'm so happy to see this for you and this is in your um, more extended future which goes out probably the next um, two weeks to two months so I would look at this time frame from now through the end of the summer that you're going to be some of you getting in a new relationship okay let's ask about why is the death card um, other people are seeing you as this going through this rebirth what is that about yeah because you got away from an abusive situation some of you <laughs> things are proceeding really quickly because you're coming into um, some kind of really fast success Sag um, you went from this abusive situation and escaping in the middle of the night with the Six of Swords, feeling really stuck in that awful situation to now you've got full on success and there may be a really fast love affair coming in and people are going to be like, wow, you know, last time I saw Sag, they were still, you know, whatever, trying to, you know, patch things up or work on their life or whatever and now look how happy they are <laughs> okay it's like talk about rising from the ashes I mean this is this is your energy let's look at this final outcome real quick um, lovers card I know not everybody wants a love reading and this did go in the direction of love I didn't intend for it to uh, I just asked the question what does Sagittarius need or want to know so some of you wanted to know about love some of you didn't so that's okay in that case it wasn't your reading this time but check back it will be next time okay all right lovers card final outcome lovers can have to do with choices between people deciding to get married or not deciding between two people hmm, got a magician here for some of you you're manifesting this Wow, you're manifesting a lot of happiness, Satch. Here's the Sun card. This is the card of love, happy families. Some of you are going to be really happy and in love as a final outcome here, Satch. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, look at this, the death card again. <laughs> this is going to make you go through, this is twice the death card has come up. So this is going to make you go through a major transformation, for one thing. Um, when you meet this new person, it's going to be a happy transformation, not another night of the soul, dark night of the soul. It's more um, happy and feeling in love with this love card, and you're manifesting it. 
Now here's the other thing. Some of you are meeting a Scorpio. Some of you, this new lover that's coming in that's going to make you really happy is a Scorpio. This can definitely represent Scorpio energy. Wow. And I feel like whoever that, let's ask about that. Some of you want to know, some of you don't, but we're going <laughs> to look at that real quick. Um, what about the Scorpio? Is he a magician? Because sometimes the magician is somebody who's really good at manifesting things. And of course, Scorpios are um, very intense, very passionate, very focused, um, you know, oftentimes into, um, you know, making things happen and very, very psychic individuals. Hmm, Queen of Cups. Some of you are meeting a legit Queen of Cups, okay? Some of you Sagittarius, and Queen of Cups is somebody who is a water sign, often like could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Very intuitive, probably a mother. I think there are going to be children involved in this relationship for sure. And here's Ace of Pentacles. You're going to feel like you've hit the jackpot. Um, Knight of Swords. This is going to come in fast, you guys. So for whoever this love relationship is for it's going to come rushing in hmm. here's the strength card for some of you it's leo energy and also i'm asking about the scorpio person also this could be somebody who's a bodybuilder you know with that leo card strength card uh it could definitely have to do with somebody who's very strong has a very strong uh, physical and mental body will bring new opportunities could be king of cups which could definitely be Scorpio energy. So this could be you and your new relationship, King and Queen of Cups, you guys, for some of you. Let's see if there's any final words here for Sagittarius. Wow, I had no idea this reading was going to go that direction, but there it is. Final words for Sagittarius. What does Sag need or want to know? And I tell you, I know this reading is going to happen for a lot of you because I'm one big goosebump right now. I'm just like, whew, I mean, I'm feeling like this buzzing of energy. And you know, this reading started off so rough with the fan and everything and the thunder and noise. Um, it's almost like the third party stuff that started out in this reading did not want you to have this information that you're going to be so happy. That's why that energy is still not completely resolved. But once you meet this person, it almost puts up this huge shield around you and it's not going to let any of that stuff through. And I'm not saying you have to meet that person. I'm just saying it's one of the advantages of you falling in love and being with a new person is it, it does just sort of as a um, side effect protect you in a lot of ways. Okay, final words for Sagittarius. You know, I, I also say when people are madly in love, you know, especially in the new um, phases of love, it puts you in high manifestation mode. <laughs> it's like something flips a switch and suddenly everything you want falls into place. It's like it opens the floodgate and that's going to happen for you, Sag. Yeah, you're going to be, whoops, you're going to be healing. You're going to go through a major transformation, a major, almost miraculous healing with this. Wow. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you are going to ruthlessly cut out anything else that doesn't work, like old people, old relationships, old memories, all that, all that stuff. <laughs> and you're coming into Ten of Cups. Sagittarius, I want to cry right now. I'm just so happy to see this for you because, you know, I hear people saying nothing ever good ever happens for Sagittarius. You know, this is so good. This reading is so good. I hope you listen to the end because they're ending on this Ten of Cups, which is the happiest card, one of the happiest cards in the deck, along with the Sun card, and you got that one too. So some of you are going to be entering into a new relationship that's going to make you really happy and your family make your family really happy too for you okay that's what you wanted and needed to know according to the cards today thanks for being here you guys are greatly greatly appreciated thanks have a good one